Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ah, uh, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. And look, Alex, if you're ever getting asked to find someone's crap, less ghosts are gonna punish, not you, ask to tag out or something, cause God, that felt like my skin was getting pulled off. Normally, she's good at this stuff. Normally. I'm sorry, all right? I, I tried my best. I mean, when things are jumping all around, it's tough to even know what she was talking about. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? That's well, a good question. Uh, a good question. Mm, Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, <laughs> a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She left secret notes all over the place. The ghosts hate her. She was involved with it somehow. Come on. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the the source of the problem in the cave. Okay. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. Let's go! What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? It's Wait. Epiphany. Is it a Fippany? It's a Epiphany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> Fippany. Epiphany. Epiphany. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Thank you, Nona, for that. All right, let's try to stop this shit. Cause this is this is crazy. These ghosts. These giga ghosts. Be careful. That film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right. There's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January fifty-two. Awesome. Oh, oh man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just God, the it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, so can, uh, they're making a radio. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or... Whatever bomb shelters are made out of. But we know. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay. okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Bone town. Oh, sorry, this is, like, this looks like the end, but from the... Oh, from the we have to go to different thing. ones to make the no, triangle. No, no, wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, yeah, I've been... Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be... Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake... Don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. <sighs> I'm just... I don't... I didn't mean it like that. If you really want to split up, it's fine. I mean... I didn't can... mean it like no, that. No, 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 this is fine. I mean, 
Why mess with success, right? All right, use the station. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Guide 102. Okay. I didn't All mean right. it like that. Break. And if anything goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. <laughs> well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I, I didn't realize that's what it meant. I just assumed that that meant, yes, we're still a team. Let's keep going. Night in the wood. It is night in the woods. With ghosts. Spooky goo goo ghosts. So wait, um, we're here. If we go up that way, we can get to Epiphany Fields. Okay. Day in the woods, ghosts in the woods. Wood ghosts, you know, those just those wood ghosts. You got them wood ghosts. Sorry, Jonas, I didn't mean it. Oh, good. Oh, Ren, don't drown! Ren. Alex, Alex, okay, are you, are you back to normal? I just saw, it, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all <laughs> red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. Oh, creepy. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider than what about but Ren? The thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started. Like, we literally just left him like two seconds ago. I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. Haha. <laughs> No, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? No, I probably just went the wrong way. Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. We're just taking this way, that's all. What, the scenic route? Everything's the scenic route. There's no quicker way. Uh, okay, well, we'll be here. Good luck. Did I go the wrong way? No, okay, here it is. Yeah, this is where we want to go. He's had enough time. Since he had the brownies, he won't get cramps. Yeah, I mean, like, you can't get cramps when you're dead, right? Yeah, right? You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Usually I'm asleep at 11 with my hand half dunked in the chip bowl. You think oh, good, sure. Tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's going to work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. <laughs> like they confident know by too? sunrise they're all going to be shopping for school supplies. <sighs> Maybe that's just me. I think that this um, stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen, 
I think we're running out of runway here. Should I have gone back to, um... Wait. Should I have gone back to the lighthouse and try to light it up when we were down there? Crap, I wish we could just, like, teleport. <sighs> Pizza sounds good. What also sounds good right now is burritos. Let's think about burritos for tonight. Maybe the ghosts just need a hug. I hope the so. Of the hill. I hope that's all they need is a hug. This works. Marcinel, 13 months officially? <gasps> Drop them bears, guys. Give it to up for Marcinel. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have we been over here? Oh, no, we definitely not have been here. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? F-139. Bolstered by Anna and my re research conducted largely at the Catbird Station, we interrupted with Rare. Uh, if that men and women of the U.S. canola were separate from the dimensional existence by the explosion of the submarine nuclear reactor, identifying one passenger, Henry, by his call sign. And his confused dictation and reliance on game logic says to me that their emotional states, if not mental states, have been reduced to that of children. I thought... I cling to when I envision Anima's demise. Oh, goodness. Easy three. If indeed he find fault with anything, or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. Lest perchance God has served him for this very thing. Hmm. Easy three. If indeed he find fault. Interesting. Okay. I kind of want to go back to the lighthouse now. Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep it right there for right now. So this is the cat station, right? No, it's higher up. Okay. It's up here. I don't think we actually explored up here. Now that I think about it, I think we bypassed it completely. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. God, we're in another loop, Dilu. They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> Yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. Ugh. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that. We can get up there. Let's go up the hill, I guess. Try to? We go down the hill? Oh, God. Ren! No, no, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's. He had an accident. He. He died. I couldn't. Clarissa no, no, was dead on. too. Clarissa was dead too, but like bunny ears dead, not dead dead. Because apparently killing yourself doesn't actually do anything here. Alex. 
It's the truth. Well, it's the truth, Jonas. And I'm not gonna stand here and fall for one of these I'm dead, no I'm not, shuffleboard swaps again. Come on, let's skip to the last chapter. I know it's gonna happen. He... he drowned. He took a fall. Ugh. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done, in this case, is... No, you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. Soon it won't be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Ugh. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. Um, a proposition? L like what? It's already over for Phyllis, and she's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But, if you agree to let us take her, let her go, quietly, uh, fuss, Trainer Will! Slaughter the rest of your friends. Thank you for the sub! We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need the one, anyway. No, no, no way! I'm saving everyone! Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. Uh, courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? How do you know? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules. Ugh. Now I'm by myself. Okay, where is everybody? Not down there. These freaking ghosts and their rules. Throw the rule book at them. Play my own rules. God! Let me just get up the mountain! Oh. Oh, who's this? No, no. I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just. It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's. I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is. It's not stupid. He was more important. It's not stupid. It's not small to like somebody. It doesn't... It doesn't diminish anything. Maybe. It's a tiny thing, but... I hope he knew that I liked him. Oh, shit! And I don't know if he did. He knew, Nona. Don't worry. He knew. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. But thanks, Alex. Yeah, let's do this. Bum, 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 bum. The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. Ugh. Poor Jonas. Hello? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow, I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? They're both alive. <gasps> hey, that's all I care about. Jonas? God. Yeah, no, Jonas? that's a, that's a bonus too. Seriously, right in the throat. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? <laughs> the machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Time's wasted. I gotta do this anonymously. Actually, wasted. Like I feel my body wasting away. No, it's it's okay if you're like dealing with stuff. Well, we have to deal with stuff. What we're, stuff? We're all dealing with stuff. The uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my God! You 
you guys. That was... No, it was Vin. It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. And nothing else makes a difference. It was like, it was high. Believe me. All right, you guys need to shut up so I can listen no, to this. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it uh, just whatever. I'm fine. Bobby Dunbar. She is fine. It's true. <laughs> shut up. And nothing else makes a difference. Okay, just hmm. whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this stuff. Stop. Bobby Dunbar. Exactly. <laughs> okay, over. Was built to detect over now. Why do you have to have the last word? When operation, Over, good it enough. was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna <laughs> and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. Hmm. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station, and if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. Okay. The Catbird station was built to detect any- Cool. Alright, so let's uh, open this bad boy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. For all those possessed... It would have been better had it never been found. Wait, what? For all those who possessed came to sudden and violent death. It would have been better had it never been found. Interesting. I don't know if I'm playing this game right anymore. There you go. Let's get in here. emergency how may i help you if you're being sat on by a very large burglar just mash the dial with your fist please otherwise stay on the line and we'll send a traffic custodian out to you directly <laughs> oh thank god i'd like to report a poltergeist they've come into my house they've shaved all my cats they look better in my mittens oh i just need any and all advice you can give me well first hey, everyone just shut up you can play dress up phone time when you get home all right mr no fun no fun? What is that? Swedish? Man, you guys are a real comedy team here. Stunning. The wit on display. Ah. Send the mic. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. Let's go. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and now. Close the time hole and save the day. Time hole. Let's close it. Let's close this time hole. All right, so if we go down the way we came, we should get there. The shelter is opening. It's the time hole like your butthole. Dunk, so rude. So lewd. Is there any way I can just go? Can I go this way and get there quicker? Let's see. I can't go this way, can't I? Oh, never mind. No. Rude loot, dude. Music. So this should take us to Bridge Stand. Now I'm gonna go to the woods. I need to go down that way. Sorry, dude. I'm gonna go back down. Go back down. 
I see this is the way we can go to the Tiny Woods. Oh, excuse me. Bridge down. Okay, yeah. How old is this game? I think it's like 2016. I never played it. It's like on sale right now. I picked it up for four dollars, which isn't bad. I have an idea, Mr. Jordan. Oh, come on. Oh no, come on, Jonas. Don't turn freaky now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm. Jesus Christ! I really hate that. But I'm. I think. Um. Are you okay now? Really? Yeah, I think. It's just, um, uh, look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like, just, like, how do I say this? Cause it's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say, I just, I think it would have been cool, us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. Oh. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad, too, okay? So, there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay. Good. So, Aww. that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Let's finish yeah, this. let's finish strong now. No half-acidness at the end. All this furniture everywhere. So if I just go straight this way, I should get there, right? Oh, hey. I guess Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park. After the fort closed, I used the considerable resources from my father's endowment to buy up most of the land. Our influence government officials to declare it, which would, that which I could not buy protected. I have not been entirely successful, and I have watched in horror as a small tourist industry has precariously sprung upon this cursed island. Conan 64, it's been 26 months? That's two years! It's insane! Drop them bears! Drop them big bears. Um, even the family of one of the sailors who died, Calvin Gilbert, set up a restaurant to cater to inquisitive out-of-towners. I can promise this, though. The museum will never happen, and the beach and the caves will be boarded up. It didn't really work out, did it? <laughs> now that Adler's dead, can't she just, like, as a ghost, fight the other ghosts? You want to ship it, emote? Well, we're not going to have another emote for a long time. We are so far away from our sub goal, it's insane. Poor Jonas, I left him in the dust. How far? Like 800 points. September happened, and we got, like, a lot of inflated points. And uh, a lot of people either just didn't resub. And, it, and it's fine. It happens. It's more than 25. It's definitely more than 25. But we got to keep all the, all the emotes that we unlocked, which is great. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But... You know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, <gasps> Ashley, who's Ashley? Thing, but still. Who's Ash? Oh, you mean Amanda? My really good friend Amanda who's moving away forever? That Amanda? Yeah, that Amanda who stole her mom's car. And I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission to take it, because whatever, fine. But you knew you didn't have permission to go to that show. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Wow, big man on campus, I don't know why I said that. Big step, that's what I mean. Big step. Eh, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is... It's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? 
So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny. I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. But everybody loved, everyone loves you here. You're like, I mean, you should hear how the teachers talk about you. I know how they talk about me. It's like, if I don't become a billionaire president, their life has been wasted. I know you think I have it on easy street, but people Did the ghost at say the to time, convince him to stay that it's in good, school that they here? Lived here? That good things can happen to people that are from here. It can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before... The ghost said to let him go to here. school. Okay. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. Okay. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Uh, no idea. Oh, God, Michael, I have no idea. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. Ah. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, kind of almost touching. Huh, that's actually, that's not bad. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Hmm.